Astrobot is an endearing homage to 30 years of PlayStation, blending whimsical characters with solid platforming mechanics. It's a game that draws you in with its charm while testing your skills as you avoid enemies and rescue your fellow bots. While many of the bots are generic, you'll encounter some familiar faces as special bots pay tribute to iconic PlayStation characters. I recently completed the game in about nine hours and I'd love to share what you can expect if you decide to jump in for yourself. Stick around for my final thoughts and ratings at the end. The game kicks off with Astrobot and friends having a party aboard their PlayStation 5 mothership. But things quickly take a turn when a giant alien bully crashes the celebration, scattering your friends and parts of the mothership across the galaxy. Using your DualSense ship, you'll travel between planets to rescue your friends and recover the missing pieces of the ship. The story is simple and straightforward, meant as a backdrop to the gameplay rather than a complex narrative. While it's charming and kid-friendly, don't expect much depth. The real appeal lies in the nostalgia of seeing iconic PlayStation characters throughout your adventure. Astrobot offers a delightful platforming experience, and it's clear that the game is designed with a younger audience in mind. However, there are enough clever mechanics and challenges to keep even seasoned gamers engaged. Flying your dual sense ship through space to select galaxies and levels was a nice touch, and the controller integration made it fun to navigate. In each level, Astrobot has basic abilities like punching and a laser propelled double jump, but you'll also find special equipment like extended punches jetpacks, and even the ability to blow up like a balloon for added mobility. These items help keep the gameplay fresh as you progress. Each level has hidden bots and puzzle pieces, encouraging exploration. Rescuing bots is as simple as giving them a playful smack, while puzzle pieces gradually unlock rewards at the crash site. If you miss anything, revisiting levels becomes more fun with the collectible bird, which helps track down any overlooked items for a price. Hidden challenge levels offer a spike in difficulty, ditching safe spots and demanding precision to reach the end. These levels can be frustrating, but they add an extra layer of challenge for those seeking it, not to mention the one bot at the end of each level. The game features a rewarding collection system. By finding puzzle pieces and rescuing bots, you unlock various customizations and items. The gacha machine at the crash site is a fun way to spend your coins, granting you collectibles or toys for your saved PlayStation bots. This added a playful layer to reward between levels. While completing the game's story took me around nine hours, I spent more time revisiting levels to collect everything, bringing my total playtime to about 15 hours. Though some levels had me clenching my jaw in frustration, especially in the tougher challenge areas, the overall experience remained delightful. Before we get into my personal thoughts and ratings, I would love to hear from you. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts. Have you had a chance to play the game yet, or the original Astrobots Playroom? This was my first experience with Astrobot, and it was a surprisingly delightful one. Astrobot was adorable, with all the little sounds it made, and the little bot friends to save were equally as cute. The enemies were bad guys, but still had a wacky charm in their own way. There were animals all over the place that added to the whole thing, creating a very wholesome, fun game. While the whole experience was great, I can't help but wonder if it was because of the great gameplay and cute characters, or the copious amounts of nostalgia involved with saving the special bots. Who they don't name, by the way. Just a small description giving you a good idea of who they are by how they look and the words. I will say, however, I enjoyed the game and was only able to name maybe 40 of over 150 characters. There were over 50 planets to explore and complete. The gameplay was basically the same throughout avoid enemies, and get to the end. But every level felt unique. The challenges they offered and environments they were placed in made everything feel fresh the first time through. 
The visuals were colorful and the charming design perfectly complements its lighthearted tone. From iconic character designs to the playful environments, it's a visual treat. I'm giving it a five. The story is simple and serviceable, but it's not the focus. It's more of a tool to frame the action than a narrative centerpiece. That's a two. Astrobot's gameplay is fluid and fun. The responsive controls and unique abilities keep things fresh, even when the core gameplay remains consistent. I'm giving it another five. There's some replayability if you're a completionist aiming to collect every bot and puzzle piece, but it's unlikely you'll want to replay the whole game after 100% completion. I'm handing out a three. While mostly enjoyable, a few frustrating levels do take away from the fun. Still, the game's charm and creativity kept me engaged. It's a four. Giving Astrobot a total score of 3.8 out of 5 earning its place on the top shelf. It's a well-crafted, nostalgic platformer that's perfect for families and longtime PlayStation fans alike. I was hesitant about the initial asking price of the game. It's a tough sell for a platformer, but Team Asobi really came together to create a real gem. With all the different PlayStation characters to work with and add to the game, it was very well done. Despite its simplicity, there's plenty of heart and fun to be found in this little game. If after everything I've shared with you, you still don't feel like this is your kind of game, my might I suggest you check out the lists over there. Allow me to share with you some other games I've reviewed and find your perfect fit.